In this tutorial, we'll cover the cranial bones of the skull and their associated bony markings. The cranial bones of the skull are the bones that surround the cranial cavity, the cavity in which the brain resides. There are a total of eight cranial bones. Of these bones, the parietal and temporal bones are paired. In other words, there is one of each of these bones on either side of the skull. The other four bones are unpaired. That is, there is only one of them. The four unpaired cranial bones of the skull are the frontal bone, occipital bone, sphenoid bone, and ethmoid bone. Let's start with the frontal bone. So on this multicolored skull, you can see the frontal bone in gold. This is the frontal bone on the plain skull. When I open up the plain skull, you can see that part of the frontal bone makes up the anterior floor of the cranial cavity. In contrast, the flat part of this bone that runs perpendicular to the cranial cavity floor is called the squamous part. Squamous means flat. The squamous part of the frontal bone underlines your forehead, also known as your frontal region. The sinuses located within the squamous portion are known as your frontal sinuses. These paired cavities are known as your orbitals. These are the cavities in which the eyes reside. The superior edges of these cavities, all right, are known as the supraorbital margins, all right? So these are the supraorbital margins of the frontal bone. The prefix supra means superior, and the root word orbital refers to the orbital cavity. The notch in each supraorbital margin is known as a supraorbital notch. If the notch is instead a hole, you would call it a supraorbital foramen. Foramen means hole. Sometimes you can have a supraorbital notch on one side and a supraorbital foramen on the other. Now let's look at our paired parietal bones in green. All right, one and two. All right, so this is going to be our right parietal bone and this is going to be our left parietal bone. So these bones lay side by side posterior to the frontal bone. The sutural joint that runs posterior to the frontal bone, all right, and between the frontal bone and these two parietal bones is known as the coronal suture. The root word in coronal is corona, Corona means crown. The coronal suture stretches across the front of the skull like a crown. The suture running between the two parietal bones is called the sagittal suture. The sagittal suture is called the sagittal suture because it runs in the mid-sagittal plane. The sutural joint, all right, between the posterior aspect of the parietal bones and this blue bone, the occipital bone, is called the lambdoid suture. This suture is called the lambdoid suture because it is shaped like the Greek letter lambda. To see what I mean, go Google lambda, L-A-M-B-D-A. -A. Now finally, the sutural joints between, all right, the parietal bone and these paired brown bones, all right, on either side of the skull, are known as your squamous sutures, your squamous sutures. These sutures are called such because they border the squamous or flat parts of the temporal bones. We'll cover the temporal bones in the next video. See you soon.